<laughs> Hi people of the internet. Today we're going to be doing our first movie review. Our first one. So, the first one we're going to be doing is It Chapter 2. I saw it yesterday and it was a pretty long movie. <laughs> pretty long? I'd say it was very long. Two hours and 49 minutes. Okay, yeah. Um, let's start with my favorite part, I think, right? Sure. So, my favorite part of the whole movie was, I don't know, I think my favorite part <laughs> would be, when, would be before, this is a spoiler, just tell me then. Um, before, you might want to click out if you don't want spoilers, because yeah. she's going to spoil the hell out of it, so. It was, my favorite part is when the old lady, Rayon, behind, what's her name, I forgot. Beverly? Yeah, Beverly back, when she was looking at the pictures, she ran butt naked across her kitchen, and I thought it was hilarious. It's the same lady you see in the trailers, guys, so you kind of know that, you know, something's going to go down, and... What goes down a lot in this movie is actually comedy. Yeah, I think it's more comedy than it was scary. And that's just personally for our taste. Um, she did take a few friends with her. One of them, you know, is not she, scared. Yeah, one of them is got, gets really scared over a pretty simple thing. So she thought it was really, really scary. Like she was covering her face during the whole movie. And I can't blame her because some parts even I like moved I was really scared for some parts but other parts I feel like I just knew that was it was gonna happen because so would you say that this movie honest. heavily relies on jump scares and quick yeah. motion camera moves yeah. to scare you more than yeah. say the clown itself is scary yeah I feel like the clown is really funny actually it's like weird <laughs> I mean, not to say he's not somewhat yeah, creepy. Yeah, creepy. Yeah, but he's not really. Now, Mariah also recently saw Terrifier. Yeah, with... ter if, if, it walked, if Pennywise walked into the room and the clown from Terrifier, I would definitely be more afraid of the clown from Terrifier. Like, he was creepy. He cut a whole girl in half. Like, that was creepy. That's nightmare, you know. Yeah. That's what nightmares are made of. Pennywise is more like, you know, he's he's a little suspect. You may not want to walk up to him to get a red balloon because he might bite your face off. But mm, he's tall. I'll say that's what's intimidating about him. He's tall. And in this movie, they do show the actor without the makeup. So yeah. what did you think? Did you think that made him scarier or no, less scary? I think scary? that made him less scarier because why would you even do that? So the part where they showed him that he wasn't wearing his makeup, he was going a bit insane as a human, and he put like white paint all over his face and he scratched his eyes, and then yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the character that you think was made the dumbest move in this movie. Oh. Get that out of your mouth. What's his name, the first character? No, yeah, the first character. Bill? Yeah, I thought Bill was stupid. Or, what's the one who went up to the... The sewer. Bill. Yeah, Bill, I thought he was dumb because he went up to the sewer after 27 years. Somebody he already knew died. And knowing that Pennywise was in there, he put his hand in the sewer. Expecting nothing bad to happen, I guess? No, which is it's retarded. because he heard his friend's voice thinking he was still alive. His brother, his brother. Yeah, well, his let's, brother. let's stipulate Sorry. that this one has not seen. Yeah, I haven't seen the first one. I have. His so, brother. He thought he heard his brother's voice, so he was like, grab my hand, grab my hand. After 27 years, he said, grab my hand, down the sewer where he knows Pennywise likes to go, and a bunch of monsters and stuff started crawling up his arms. Okay, now let's talk about the second character that was pretty damn dumb in this. The one in the beginning, I think. There was a certain little girl that was... Oh yeah, really stupid. The little girl followed a firefly to the back. Well, she was with her mom or her sister. It looked young. I don't know. She was with somebody she knew. She wanted to go home, and she, the mom was walked 
mom or sister, somebody she knew, was watching the baseball game. They were at a baseball game. So you know how like there is a step thing of Bobby's thing? The bleachers. Yeah, the bleachers. She followed a firefly behind the bleachers where Pennywise, she didn't know it was Pennywise, but it was Pennywise behind in a little corner with no lights and she was talking to him and she was going to leave but and then Pennywise was like, they made fun of me because she got made fun of because she had like something on her face. Birthmark. Yeah, birthmark and she got fun of, made fun of for that. So she was listening and then he, she wanted to see his face and then, oh my God. He said, Didn't wind up too well for that little yeah, girl. Yeah, she just said, say he that. said, Pennywise said on the count of three, I'll show you my face. He said one, two, and then when she said three, she's like, you're supposed to say three, and she got eaten. <laughs> yeah, and let's point out that the theater we were in had a bunch, and I mean a bunch. Yeah, of little kid, like two-year-olds. And there was also a parent that brought a newborn baby on the left of me. Yeah. Um that was kind of ridiculous. Yeah, her, dramatic for a little kid. Her yeah. other son was a little bit older, but he happened to fall um, next to me. He went to go use the bathroom, and he went to run up the steps, and he fell. But that kid was into it. He was literally saying he liked the movie. He wasn't scared of the clown at all. But there was a little kid behind us in the scene that my niece is talking about, about the little girl yeah. counting to three. And after that scene occurred, the kids screamed really loud, I want to leave, I want to leave. And it was the kind of I want to leave that was very uh, therapy needed, kind of traumatic. Well, yeah, because if you're that, the little girl was like little, like younger than I was. If you're younger than me, see a little girl like about your age getting eaten you know, like alive, from a person, wouldn't you want to go home too? Like, I thought that was traumatic. So we'll say that it depends on your child. Yeah. My niece is 10 and is seemingly liking horror. Yeah, because I feel like I know that, like, I don't really watch things that are based on true stories, but so the things I do watch, I'm like, I know this. Like, it's not real. Like, no, you know, clowns are real. There is yeah, clown clowns school. Are, yeah. So there can be clowns, and they yeah, can be like, creepy. And they cannot eat, like, they can't just take a whole person in one bite. Yeah, a lot of the story of it, like the deadlights, and a lot of the, the fact, okay, if you want to spoil the end of the movie, um, if you watch the 1990 movie, there's... The same thing happened. It's nothing different. Um, the same characters die, the same... You know, what I liked most about this movie is that they kept referring to Bill's character being a writer and yeah. the fact that the ending of his books sucked. <laughs> they sucked. And I think that they were making fun of the first adaptation of it and how Stephen King wrote the ending with the you wanna spoil the Yeah, with a person what was his name? A person died in the beginning. No. I'm oh yeah, it turned into a spider. It turned into a spider. So you think after all these years it might they have changed change it. it. And I will say that this spider looked a lot scarier, but I still prefer Tim Curry's yeah. performance. And then he turned into a tiny it, like a baby it, like how does that make sense? People did clap at the end of our yeah. of the movie when he did die. Um, yeah. We did leave a, slightly early because we had to get the kids back. We had to get in a cab and get, you know, so we did miss the tail ending. But at, we did see him die and we realized that it was it the was same over. thing as the first yeah. one and that we knew the same thing was probably going to happen. We'll say here and if we're wrong, you can leave it in the comments. But we think that they found a note from Stan or something happened with the Stan character and he explained why he killed himself. Why he killed himself. So, um, there was something else that really bothers me in this movie, and it's a tiny thing, but yeah, things like, like this irritate me. The old lady that she first was talking about, yeah, Beverly. Yeah, she said she was hot, and she had tea. Hot tea. So. And hot cookies. Yeah, So hot if it's cookies. that hot, why in the bloody hell would you drink hot tea and want hot cookies? Yeah, and something that annoyed me is the old lady was about to get her cookies, and Beverly just realized that, her, that she's the daughter of it, and instead of just... There was literally a door right next to them on the place where they were going to eat cookies. Instead of just walking out of that door, she told 
the old lady, oh, I think I should be leaving, when she could have just walked out of the door if she knew that she was probably crazy because she was Pennywise's daughter. So, like, does that make sense to me? Okay, what about the, let's talk about the scene now in the fun house. Oh, yeah, that scene. Now, you took off for about a minute and a half to use the bathroom yeah. because it was such a long movie. Yeah. But what did you think? You came back right on the part where they went back into the fun house. What did you think of the little kid that went into the fun I house I thought he himself? was stupid. And where are his parents? He had a younger sister or a sister around his age and two parents. Where the heck were they? Throughout the whole movie, this kid had scenes where he... Typically was by himself. Yeah, skateboarding. One of the scenes, he was only in one of the scenes with his parents. That's yeah. it. And he still approached a stranger by himself before his parents were right, you know, behind him. Yeah, and he didn't. And I don't know, but I don't know, but like when he was in the mirror maze, he couldn't get out. He, but I don't know why he couldn't get out because he slammed each and every direction, and he couldn't get out. So like. How did that work? If so were you there? scared when Pennywise came behind him and you realized the Bill character is trying to save the little kid, he's banging on one glass, and Pennywise is banging on the other glass, yeah. and the kid's stuck in the middle, yeah. and the kid's screaming now because he sees Pennywise yeah. is winning. Yeah. I mean, was that scary, or did you realize, okay, this kid's going to die? I knew the kid was going to die, but I just felt bad because, like, Pennywise is right behind you, slamming his head. Nothing's happening to Pennywise, and you're about to die. Like, and Bill, he, Bill, sorry, cars. <laughs> Bill literally watched this kid get eaten by Pennywise, and then all the blood splattered on the, on the mirror so he couldn't see anymore. So did you think the death scenes were good in this movie, or did you think some of them were, sorry about that, were in the entranceway and people got to come in and out, so. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about now about the scene in the restaurant when oh, yeah. they first got all together <laughs> yeah. and supposedly all of them, except for Mike, forgot the trauma that happened to them as well, kids. Are you buying me, that? Yeah, let me tell you something. It was said that the farther, if you survived from Pennywise, the farther you moved away, the more you forget. And Mike didn't move. So he remembered it all. So do you believe that is a part of the writing? Do you believe if something that traumatic, if, if no. a clown almost killed you? No, I feel like you would at least remember like what happened in school, who made what. Like That doesn't have anything to do with Pennywise. I guess because it was in the time of it doesn't mean they should have forgot it. And how would you forget something as traumatic as a clown trying to kill you? Like... And then another part that I found fascinating is that they start to see hallucinations that come out of the fortune cookies while they're first yeah. back all together. Mike was literally like, there's an eye looking at me. And none of the waitresses I think came. that was Richie. I think that was beep, beep, Richie. Yeah, I think that was Richie. No, I think, I don't know. And it was one of them. And not a single waitress came after they were slamming. Well, it, she finally had yeah. come, but I had, you know... Being that I see so many horror movies, I kind of, before the waitress showed up, yeah, as they were banging, I knew what was going to happen, so I, I, I know, you know, some people wouldn't agree that I did that, but sometimes I do go for the comic relief, and I happen to say, loud enough for a couple of people next to me to hear me go, check please, because we knew it was happening. Yeah, what else would you, what do you say if you're slamming a table and then all of a sudden, but that's where the, the little kid from the fun house, we first yeah. see him, and he approaches Richie and says something, and Richie starts no, shaking like, him. it all ends or something like that. And he's like, what? Why? Why? And then he's like, that's the scene from your book. Like, your, I think it was his comedy. Yeah, you're, you're getting them confused. Yeah, that was the comedy one. See, I mean, it was such a long movie that I think a lot of it was unnecessary. Um, they delve really deeply into certain characters and um, the artifacts. They each have to go yeah. by themselves to find their own artifacts. Why would you go by yourself? You never go by yourself in horror movies. Like, it always ends with that. So they each got traumatized, re-traumatized by, yeah, by Pennywise day. again, which apparently was necessary for them to do. Yeah, because he didn't want them, even though he knew that it wouldn't work. Well, this is what I thought was messed up. If you were friends with somebody for how many years and they did not tell you that the last person who tried to kill Pennywise 
did not make it, why would they tell you you're, that you've literally been friends with them for how many years? What would you do in that case scenario? Like literally, your friend who's been friends with you for how long did not tell you that a lot of people who did what you're about to do did not make it? Like, why am I here? <laughs> Uh, why were we all there? Why did we all pay to go see this movie? Do you think that it was worth it? Uh, half, half. I would watch it again. Yeah, I would watch it again, but like... Not right away. And I don't know if I need to have this in my collection. I probably will at some point just because I have the original It and I kind of knew what to expect. But somebody that's a new viewer of Pennywise and It and Stephen King. Do we want to talk about Stephen King's um, cameo? His little part? Oh, yeah. He gave the pump, the asthma pump to... No. No. He was the store owner of... Yeah, of the store. He sold yeah. Bill his bike back. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, no, okay, yeah, I remember his old bike, and then he's like, this did work, and then the whole bike fell apart, and then he actually did it, and then he was there, and I'm like, <laughs> So, I think, um, overall, we sat through the most of the movie. We missed maybe the last three minutes, because we had, we had to get these kids home. Yeah, the movie was, was so like, long that, you know, they had school the next day, we had to get them in a cab, we had to get them home, but, you know, um... Mm. You didn't have nightmares, right? I didn't have nightmares, but at first when we first got home and he left me to walk the dog, I was nervous. And I'm like, first of all, he died. Second of all, none of this is real. So like, why am I nervous? And then I was fine. Okay, well, we appreciate you guys if you sat through this whole video yeah. and us rambling on about a movie that most people are gonna see, right? Yeah, probably. Like and subscribe. Make sure to hit that subscribe. Or else we'll send Pennywise after you, right? You may yeah. not float at the end of it. <laughs> People, as a, a warning, kids out there, don't talk to strangers. Please don't. Don't take balloons from clowns that Please you don't, don't know if and your parents aren't if around. If somebody offers you something, or like, like if somebody goes up to you and like offers you candy, and they're like trying to leave you where no people are, don't follow them. Like, it's Be not. smart. Be smart. Don't yeah. go out like some of these people do in horror movies. It's... It's not cute. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. If you like this movie review, let us know. We might have her do more. She's not really wanting to at this moment. So we'll see how this goes over because she feels like there's so much pressure on her to let you guys know what she thought. So it's not that big of a deal. Nobody agrees on everything. Some people are going to love this movie. Some people are going to hate it. We're kind of in the middle. Right? Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next time.